In this video, we'll balance the equation for MgHCO3 2 plus HCl. This is magnesium bicarbonate, also called magnesium hydrogen carbonate, and this is hydrochloric acid. So the first thing we'll do is count the atoms up. We need to be careful with this equation. Let's do it. One magnesium, and then we have two, it applies to everything here. So two times one, two hydrogens, and there's a hydrogen here in the HCl. So we have three hydrogen atoms, two times one, two carbons, two times three, six oxygens, and just one chlorine. Product side, we have our magnesium. We have hydrogen, two of those. Carbon, one of those. We have oxygens, one plus two. So we have three oxygen atoms and then two chlorine atoms. I like to leave the oxygens until last when I balance equations. Oxygens and hydrogens, I usually leave those till last. Let's first just balance the carbons here. We could put a two here, one times two, that would balance the carbons. And then for the oxygens, instead of three, we have two times two. So we have four oxygen atoms. Let's balance the chlorines now. We could put a two here. So we'd have one times two, that would give us two of those. So for our hydrogens, we have the two times the one already. So we have two plus this one times two here. So now we have four, which is kind of nice. That's an even number. And that leaves us with the oxygens and the hydrogens. If we were to put a two in front of the H2O, that would balance the hydrogens. We'd have two times the two. That would give us four. And then for the oxygens, let's update the oxygens. So we have two times the one, that's two, plus two times the two, that's four, six, we're done. This equation is balanced. So one of the challenges, make sure you count your oxygens right over here and your hydrogens right on this side. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for magnesium bicarbonate plus hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.